Reporting a problem to the landlord. The floor to my apartment is badly damaged. I'm sorry to hear that. How bad is it? It's practically falling apart. Did some kind of accident cause this? None that I could have made. I think your previous tenant might have caused this. That makes sense. He took poor care of the apartment. I could see that myself. I'll have that fixed as soon as possible. If it's not too much trouble, may I request one more thing? Is there anything else wrong with the apartment? It's just my bedroom window. I can't seem to get it open. I'll have that window taken care of as well. Neighbors and help. One. Hello, neighbor. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing all right. I was wondering if I could ask you for a favor. Sure. What is it? I'll be away for the weekend. Could you take care of my dog? Yeah, I'd love to. I'm great with dogs. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Is there anything I need to know about your dog? Not really. She's an old, calm, and friendly dog. You'll have no trouble. All right. I'll give you a call if I have any questions or concerns. I'll bring her over in a few minutes, along with her food. Thanks again. No problem. Have a safe trip. Neighbors and help too. Are you my new neighbor? Yes, I am. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How is your day going so far? It's going just fine. Thank you for asking. Do you think you can help me with something? Sure, I would be glad to help whatever I can. It's nothing big. I just need help carrying my old couch to the curb. All right. Do you want me to help you right now? If it's not a problem. No, I'll come over right now. Thank you for the assistance. Prohibited parking. Excuse me, sir. Yes, is there a problem? I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but you can't park here. You mean right here where I just parked? Yes, unfortunately, you cannot. Oh, I was not aware that you couldn't park here. That's all right. It's a common mistake new residents often make. Thank you for informing me. Not a problem. I wouldn't want you to get a parking ticket. That's so considerate of you. Thank you. You're welcome. Just keep it in mind for the next time. Don't worry. I won't forget. Laundry room rules. I need to wash my clothes. As a tenant of this apartment, you have access to the washer and dryer. Is that so? I didn't know that. It's good that you know now. Are there any laundry rules I should know about? Yes, there are certain hours you are allowed to use the laundry room. What are the hours? You are only allowed to wash clothes from 6 a.m. through 10 p.m. That's good to know. Is there anything else I should know? You're responsible for your belongings. Well, that's common knowledge. Also, there's no food or drink allowed in the laundry room. Thanks for going over the rules and hours with me. It was my pleasure to help a fellow neighbor. Asking about local restaurants. I sure am hungry. You should go out and eat. Do you know of any good places to eat that are around the local area? I know of a good couple. All right, let's hear them. I'm starving. Let me ask you first. What are you in the mood for? Well, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure. Do you like Indian food? I've never tried it. It sounds interesting. It's delicious. I would recommend giving it a try. Indian food, it is. Where is the laundry room? Hello, neighbor. I just moved into the apartments last week. I have a question. Sure. What do you need to know? I need to locate the laundry room. I have a load of clothes to wash. There is one downstairs. Thank you very much. There is also another located in the basement of the neighboring building. Do I have to pay at the front desk? No, the machines require exact change. I suggest you take quarters. Does the laundry room carry detergent? Yes, but I recommend you take your own. They're expensive. That's good to know. Thanks again, and have a nice day. No problem. See you around. Locked out. 
Oh no, I'm locked out again. Did I overhear you say what I think you just said? That I'm locked out? Yes, that's what I said. I'm sorry to hear that. How did you lock yourself out? I'm pretty sure I left my key inside the apartment. That happened to me before. What did you do when it happened? I climbed in through the window to unlock the door. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Unless you have a spare key. It seems I'm going to have to break into my own apartment. Be careful not to break anything. Is that what you did when you did the same? Accidentally, yes, I did. Plumbing problems. Who do I have the pleasure to speak to this afternoon? Hello, my name is James. You've called your city's local plumber. What can I do for you? Thank you. I have a problem with my gas line. I specialize in gas line problems. You're in luck. I'm glad to hear that. Can you come to my home today? I'm booked today. Sorry. Can I come tomorrow instead? Tomorrow works for me. Is three o'clock fine? Yes, that hour is fine. What are your rates? I will provide you with an estimate free of charge when I see the problem. All right, that sounds good. Thank you. Checking smoke detectors. Have you checked your smoke detectors recently? No, I wasn't even aware we had smoke detectors. All the apartments are equipped with them. It's an essential safety feature. How do you check if they're working? It's real easy. If you like, I could show you. That would be nice of you. Are you doing anything right now? No, it's my day off work. How about I come over and show you how to check them? Sounds good. Come inside. It's really easy to check them. Just grab one from the wall and check the battery in the back. What does this light mean? If you see the light, that means it's functioning. So I don't need to replace the battery. Thank you so much. Preparing for a job interview. One. Okay, I talked to my boss. Here's his phone number. Thanks a lot, Bud. Did he say he has an open position? No, but he said he would talk to you. That's great. Hey, thanks again. You know, you should also go online to look for work. Online? Where? There are many job search websites. Do you know any by name? Just Google jobs in LA and you'll find some. Okay, I'll try that when I get home. You can do it on your smartphone, you know. I know, but I think it's better at home. Thanks again. Preparing for a job interview, too. I am so excited. I've got my first job interview. Interview for what? It's an engineering internship for the city of LA. Wow, that's impressive. I'm preparing for the interview by practicing with my sister. What exactly are you doing? We're doing mock interviews. Is that helpful? It sure is. She recorded our first interview and pointed out things I should avoid. What are some of the things she saw? She said that I said, you know, too much, and I looked nervous. Cool. That should help. It has. I feel so confident now. Well, good luck, my friend. Job interview one. Good morning. My name is Robert Stevens. Good morning, Mr. Stevens. My name is Richard Jones. Please have a seat and let's get started. Thank you, Mr. Stevens. Please call me Robert. I'll call you Richard. We're informal here. That's good to know, Robert. Thanks. I see you have two years experience. Can you tell me a little about that? Oh, yes. I worked in the mailroom at Acme Corporation last year. Go on, please. It was a temporary job, but I gained a lot of experience. Excellent. We're always looking for someone with experience. I think this experience will help me blend into the job working here. Job interview two. Hello, my name is Angela Davis. Good morning, Angela. I am Dick Williams. I will be interviewing you today. Good morning, Mr. Williams. So what do you know about our company, Angela? 
Well, I did a little internet research last night, and I know the company is growing. Excellent. What else? I learned the company is a leading seller of office technology equipment. That's good, Angela. I'm happy to see you're taking time to do research. Thank you, Mr. Williams. I am going to recommend you for the job. Thanks again. Someone will contact you soon. Congratulations. Accepting a job offer. Hello. May I speak to Susan, please? Yes, this is Susan. This is Mr. Jones from the ABC Company. Hello, Mr. Jones. I have a job offer if you're still interested. Oh, that's wonderful. Is it for the customer service job? Yes, we would like you to start next Monday. It pays $15 per hour. Next Monday? Sure, I'll take it. Super. I'll email you some literature you can read about our company. Oh, that's great news, Mr. Jones. Welcome to the ABC Company. We'll see you on Monday. Okay, Monday it is. See you then. Request for office supplies. Hey, Alice, do you have a stapler I can use? Of course I do. It's on my desk. Thanks. Mine broke two weeks ago. Didn't you put in an office supply request? I asked Joseph if he would get me one. I know he's in charge, but you should submit a form. A form? What form? An office supply form. Don't rely on Joseph. Put it in writing. Oh, I could use a couple of other supplies, too. Yes, by all means. Get what you need. Where are these forms? I'll email it to you. Just print it and send it in. Thanks, Alice. No problem. Asking for help. Hello, my name is Sally. I'm hoping you can help me. Of course I can. That's what I'm here for. I want to look for a job, but I don't have internet access at home. That's okay. Let's get started. Great. What do I do first? You're going to need an email address. Do you have one? Yes, I have my own email. Okay, I can show you a couple of good websites for jobs. That would be awesome. Thanks. We also have job bulletins on the table over there. You can search through those too. Well, thank you, miss. I greatly appreciate your help. No problem. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. How to do a timesheet. This is the first time I've ever had to do a timesheet. Well, they're very easy to do. You've done this before. Maybe you can help me. Sure, I can help. What do I need? You'll need your employee number. Okay, I'll look it up. Once you have that, all you need to do is log your hours. I have a good idea what hours I worked this week. You need to be accurate. It will be pretty close. It must be exact. You don't want to cheat the company or yourself. Schedule an appointment for a meeting. Good morning, Jet Office Products. Hello, my name is Richard Lee and I would like to make an appointment. Good morning, Mr. Lee. My name is Sheila. Hello, Sheila. I was asked by Mrs. Roberts to schedule a meeting with her. Is this for an interview? No, I've already interviewed with her. Oh, I see. It's for a follow-up meeting. When are you free? My schedule is fairly open. When will she be available? How about Tuesday at 9 a.m.? This Tuesday the 5th? Yes, that's correct. That will be fine. I'll be there. Thanks. Giving an excuse for being late to work. Good morning, Peterson Industries. Hello, Betty. This is Roger. Hey, Roger. Where are you? I am stuck on the 60 freeway. I'm going to be late for work. Oh, no. Any traffic accident happened? I really don't know, Betty. All I know is that traffic is crawling. I will tell your supervisor you called in late. That would be great, but I could tell him myself. Well, normally that would be okay, but he's stuck in the same traffic jam. Oh no, really? Okay. At least he'll know your excuse is true. 
Yes, thank you. See you soon. Asking for a description of a person. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Hey, did you apply for the job? I sure did. I'm meeting your boss today. Today? But it's Saturday. I know. I'm meeting with him at a restaurant later. That's cool. He must be very interested. Can you describe him? Sure. He's a tall Asian who is a bit overweight with long black hair. Well, that helps. This is the first time I will see him. He's really friendly and he always wears a tie. Okay, thanks. That helps. No problem, my friend. Good luck on your interview. Express agreement. How's it going? Same old stuff. What's up? I'm working on this project. Can you look at it? Yeah, I'll take a look at it. What is it supposed to be? It's a presentation on how to increase productivity. Really? This is your project? Yes, I came up with an idea and my boss wants to see it. That's awesome. Let's see it. Well, that's it. What do you think? I really like the graphics. I think it's a winner. That's great. I'm really nervous. Don't be. It's very professional and it's a great idea.